I actually really like the feeling of needles going in. Like, I know some people are gonna be like, oh, she's a druggie and she does like weird stuff. Like, no, I don't. Hi everyone, today I am filming how to enjoy super spicy noodles part two. So the first um, video I ever did with spicy, super spicy noodles is was the challenge. And I didn't remember it being really, really spicy and I really couldn't handle it. But I feel like nowadays, like maybe my tolerance did um, get better. But I really actually crave the super spicy noodles now. I actually really enjoy it. But the second video that I did with these noodles um, was how to enjoy it. And I added like, I think I made like a, I think I added like sausages and other ingredients and made it less spicy. Did I add rice cakes? I'm not sure. Today I wanted to make a part two because um, this is definitely not my like my original recipe or it's not something that I thought of but um, I know that some of you guys know this already but mixing the super spicy noodles with this, the black bean noodle, instant black bean noodles is actually really really good combination. You get a little bit of the black bean noodle flavor and spicy so I actually heard that this is really good. I personally never tried it before. I can already see how it's going to taste, uh, but I wanted to share it with you guys for the people that never heard of it or um, for those of you guys who saw it on different Korean eating channels, but you know, you guys don't understand because you know, obviously it's in Korean. So I thought it'd be fun if I could film one together and since this week I am so busy I'm packing everything and so I can't do a lot of cooking or like things that um that i start from scratch i can't film that this week i'm so sorry but next week i have a lot of things in mind i have great ideas so stay tuned um but as you guys already saw in the title i will have a little tiny giveaway which is it's really really small it's nothing that big but i am giving <laughs> I am giving these away. Yay. I know that for many people, it's you know it's very available, and you guys, it's not that hard to get. But I know there are people out there who you know they live in a state or country where it's hard to find Asian markets. So I want to give this away for those people who never tried it before. And if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to try it out, uh, please enter the giveaway. It's simple as always um, please subscribe um, give it a thumbs up for this video and leave a comment in this video what your favorite food is it doesn't have to be Korean it doesn't have to be American just whatever your favorite spicy food, spicy food so when you're craving spicy food like what do you go for like what's your go-to spicy food and it'll be really helpful if you guys leave me your best contact information like on Instagram I can message on Instagram I can message on snapchat or YouTube or Twitter, so let me know. Um, please write that in your comments too. Um, if you're interested, please um, just enter. It's not a big deal. I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of these in the future. So yeah, let's start. Okay. I'm going to mix one of each. So if you... Um, I think there's four in here. And there's five in here. So there's five. And four. I actually wanted to, this is not the one I actually wanted to get. I wanted to get the um, Japagetti. That's the original black bean noodle, like instant black bean noodles. But so annoying because I went to H Mart, this um Asian grocery grocery store, and they had the instant black bean noodles that I was looking for, but they didn't have the super spicy noodles. I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I went to the different another major Asian supermarket, and they had the super spicy noodles, but they didn't have the black bean instant noodles, instant black bean noodles. So I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me because why can't? I think maybe that's what they're trying to do so like they can go to like both of the supermarkets because they're pretty close to each other but I don't know so this will do I think this will taste good as taste at I think this will taste as good so I'm not too worried 
So when I'm boiling the noodles, the only thing I'm going to put in is this flake vegetables that comes in the black bean noodles. This is the only thing I'm going to put in. And then add the noodles. So when you drain this out, you want to leave a little bit of water so the sauce, because um, although the spicy noodle sauce is more um, like a the paste, I guess, the black bean noodles is more of a powder, so you just want a little bit of, um, so you just want a little bit of water so that it can mix well. this much water if anything I could add from here so I'm gonna add this back here now I'm going to add the this one is the super spicy noodle sauce and black bean noodle sauce I'm going to add the flake, the final touch as like seaweed and sesame seeds and just like that. Ta da! It's good, right? I think it looks good. Oh, also, I have some water dumplings. Yay! See, I already forgot this. Okay, so add the vegetable oil. I hate opening these because they go. They get all over my hands. So I should try one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's kind of little. I'm so hungry. Okay, so these are not <laughs> as spicy um, if you eat the spicy noodles by, by itself, but they are, it's still there. I think I would prefer eating it this way now because um, I feel like whenever I eat the spicy noodles, it's just always more than um, tasting the flavor, I think it's very spicy too. I think that's why like, people keep doing it like a challenge instead of like enjoying it. But I think if you eat it this way, I think you could actually enjoy it and like, and have that big, like, and I think if you eat it this way, you could enjoy it and have, you know, enjoy the spiciness of it. kimchi and chip
That's really spicy. <laughs> No, which I like that better because I was actually worried that what if like it's not spicy at all. No, but there was no point of worrying because it's definitely spicy. Oh my gosh, I almost choked on this noodles because I don't know. But you know when you choke on really spicy food, oh my gosh, like, that's it. That's like the end of the world. It hurts so much. <laughs> you guys, I lied. This is spicy. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is spicy, but it's not spicy enough for me to not eat it later again. But you know what you could do. You could maybe add like half pack of the spicy noodle sauce or even like a third. stomach's gonna feel good. That was very good. I enjoyed it. But I enjoyed that pain. Cause it doesn't like spiciness more of a pain, not a flavor, right? Yeah, I enjoyed the pain. <laughs> Sounds so crazy. More pain. I need more pain. One of my friend, she used to have like over 10 like, she had like at least like 10 ear, pe ear piercings on each side of her ear. And she gets them because it feels good whenever she gets it. And I heard that's why like a lot of people get tattoos, right? Like people who have like, they're like, I'm talking about those people who's like covered with tattoos. Like they actually find it. I kind of like pleasing. Yeah, I heard some people actually enjoy the pain. I think I do too. But like not that much because I actually really like the feeling of needles going in. Like, I know some people are going to be like, oh, she's a druggie and she does like weird stuff. Like, no, I don't. Because I actually heard that a lot because whenever I told my friends, like, I actually really like the pain of like needles. She's like, oh my God, like, do you need to talk about it? Like, um... Are you going through something? I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, like, a bunch of other weird drugs. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't even know where to get it. <clears throat> and I would never, ever do it. That's one thing. I never, I am very proud. I know that, um, this is just talking for myself, um, but 
I am very proud that I never tried hookah. I never tried weed. I never tried any kind of drugs out there that were that you know that were prescribed. But um, yeah, it's something that I don't know. I'm not interested. In. People are like, you didn't even try it yet. Like you have to try it first, and then and then you can like judge or like tell me about it. I'm like, no, I don't want to try. That's not the point. That's not the point. I don't know. I just feel like there's really no kind of defeats the point of like. Oh, let me just try it first and like you tell me because and um, versus like no I don't want to go near I don't want to try it I think there's a difference but um yeah I have never done drugs before and that's why like yeah anyways that's why my friends are like oh I don't know my friends were kind of like like not my close friends like my just my friends um they were like oh my gosh like this girl like what is she like up to i'm like no like no like you can name me any kind of drugs i wouldn't even know what it is so <laughs> yeah i actually really used to really like the pain of like the nail going in i used to really like the ear piercings too i didn't have as much as that girl but i had used to have like eight and like five or something like that i re- used to really like that but um now it's just um yeah i'm not into it like, I, my mom was so sick, because I had, when I first got my tragus and my rook, right, um, I, my mom was, my mom, like, I was actually really, um, worried that my mom would kind of, like, nag me about it, yell at me, or be upset, but she's, like, she looks at it, and she's like, you know what, you gotta get over it, you gotta move on, you're gonna take every, I know you, and you're gonna get sick of it, you gotta take everything else, so I'm gonna let you be. And she was right, um, I think within like a year or two, I took everything off. I'm like, this is so annoying that you're infected. I had to keep, like, I've been wanting to get more period earrings and wasting money. So I took everything off. So I think everything's washed now. But, um, yeah, um, I took everything off. And my mom was right. Oh, someone actually asked me about, uh, depression. And, um... With that depression, you're hurting yourself, like you're hurting your body. I would love to talk about it, as in, like, I'm not gonna try to give anyone advice because, you know, you shouldn't come to me for that. Um, you shouldn't go to anyone but, like, a therapist or someone, like, more certified. Um, but I will share a little bit of experience where I did try to hurt myself. This was, like, yeah, I had a time where I, I tried to hurt myself because I was depressed, you know, like, but that was nothing to, you know, it's my depression is nothing to people who's actually really going through the depression. So I'm not trying to say I was depressed, whatever, because, you know, it probably wasn't. I was just being really, like, emotional and dramatic. But I will show you, I will kind of share a little bit of um, experience that I had. Um, it's not really that big of a deal, but I will upload that a Sunday. So by end of, I think every end of the week, I will have a video of story time where I sit down and kind of talk more about deeper stuff, not trying to give anyone advice, but things that I went through and, you know, just sharing what things, just share what I went through, basically. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please enter. This giveaway. Yeah, please enter this giveaway if you're interested. I will try to send it as early as possible. Um, so this video is gonna go up. This video is gonna upload on Wednesday. So I will close. Um. I think I'll leave it open open until like next week until like I'm kind of settled into my um, apartment. But yeah, I know this is not a very big giveaway. But if you're if you're interested and if you if there's no way for you to get these, um, where, um, from where you live, so feel free to enter. And I'll see you guys in the next video.